How you doing? Uh, Dr. Goldberg here, uh, giving an update on prostatitis. Uh, this is a primarily an outpatient uh, infection. Uh, you will see it sometimes as a cause for bacteremia in a hospitalized patient. Well, let's talk a little about some of the important features of prostatitis. Number one, you're going to diagnose this on the basis of symptoms that the male is going to be experiencing regarding pelvic pain, difficulty urinating, painful urinating, may have scrotal pain, but on physical exam, his prostate is going to be very, very tender. He may exhibit chandelier sign where he actually is in so much pain when you palpate the prostate that he jumps. Um, e. coli is the prime pathogen here in uh, most men. Uh, occasional gonorrhea, but not, not like E. coli. Um, the uh, disease needs to be treated uh, for at least four weeks and the reason is because the prostate has a lot of fat in it it's hard for the antibiotics to penetrate um, <clears throat> the antibiotics that we uh, use uh, most frequently for prostatitis are the quinolones especially Cipro or Leviquin uh, or the tetracycline such as doxycycline Trimethoprim also has a very good penetration, so Bactrim is reasonable as well. You should consider adding an NSAID uh, for the inflammation of the prostate. And the biggest mistake I see is that prostatitis is not treated long enough. Uh, so you should minim minimally treat it for four weeks. Uh, when you do get a urine on these patients, try to get the urine after you've massaged the prostate because uh, otherwise you may not get much growing on culture. Uh, and then follow-up, uh, generally not necessary. Uh, but uh, so it can be a difficult uh, infection to treat. Thanks for now, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.